Every time scientists think they've got Earth's history figured out, something gets dug up that doesn't fit the timeline. These fossils are real, they've been studied, documented, and debated, and every one of them raises uncomfortable questions about what we think we know. This is part three of strange fossils that shouldn't exist in our timeline. In 1958, amateur fossil hunter Francis Tully found something bizarre in a coal mine near Maison Creek, Illinois. What he uncovered would baffle paleontologists paleontologists for decades. It was a soft-bodied creature with stalked eyes, a proboscis ending in a claw, and no obvious classification. Named the Tully Monstrum Gregarium, this animal shouldn't exist where it was found. The fossil dates back over 300 million years, but it doesn't fit neatly into any known group of vertebrates or invertebrates. Some experts think it's related to lampreys, others think it's its own branch of life. The creature's anatomy is is so alien that even advanced imaging hasn't solved the mystery. It's a fossil that seems to belong to a timeline all its own. For over a century, paleontologists believed the silicanth went extinct around 66 million years ago. But then, in 1938, a fisherman off the coast of South Africa pulled one out of the water alive. The fossil record clearly placed this fish in the age of dinosaurs. Its anatomy is ancient, with lobed fins believed to be an evolutionary bridge between fish and amphibians. Yet this creature never actually disappeared. The fossils didn't lie. These guys just outlived its extinction date, proving our fossil timeline isn't always the full story. Today, living specimens have been documented off the coasts of Africa and Indonesia, making it one of the strangest cases of extinct fossils that shouldn't exist. In 1908, archaeologists in southwestern France unearthed an almost complete Homo neanderthalensis skeleton. But what made the discovery strange wasn't just the fossil itself, it was how how it was buried. The Neanderthal had been carefully placed in a shallow grave surrounded by tools and possible offerings. This kind of intentional burial was thought to be uniquely modern human behavior. The fossil, dated to around 60,000 years ago, suggesting Neanderthals practiced rituals far earlier than experts believed possible. This single skeleton forced anthropologists to rethink what human behavior actually means in evolutionary history. In 2005, paleontologist Mary Higby Schwitzer made a discovery that stunned the world. While examining a Tyrannosaurus rex femur from the Hell Creek Formation, she found flexible, soft tissue inside the bone. That shouldn't happen. Proteins and soft tissue degrade over time. Scientists didn't believe anything like that could survive more than 1 million years, let alone 68 million. But under the microscope, they found blood vessel structures and collagen and fibers. The fossil was retested multiple times to rule out contamination. The results held. This meant that soft tissue preservation can occur under rare conditions, rewriting how we think about fossilization itself. In 2014, paleontologists discovered the fossil of a penguin so massive it would have stood taller than most humans. This bird lived about 37 million years ago and measured over two meters or six and a half feet tall. What's strange isn't just the size. This species existed long before Antarctica became fully covered in ice. That suggests a very different, warmer environment where giant penguins thrived. The fossil doesn't fit the timeline of penguin evolution, which was thought to have favored smaller body sizes as climates cooled. Its existence forces scientists to reconsider the speed and direction of penguin evolution. For decades, scientists believed the earliest animals evolved about 600 million years ago. But in 2019, researchers uncovered sponge-like fossils in Newfoundland that were 890 million years old. These fossils, identified as possible remains of Porifera, pushed back the timeline of animal life by at least 300 million years. That means multicellular animals may have appeared long before the Cambrian explosion, challenging one of the core timelines of evolutionary history. And if sponge life was already thriving that early, it suggests complex ecosystems existed much earlier than anyone thought. In 2016, paleontologists examining amber from northern Myanmar discovered something extraordinary. A Colorosaurus tail segment fully preserved in tree resin complete 
with intact feathers. This fossil was dated to about 99 million years ago. The feathers weren't like modern bird feathers, but were far more primitive, showing an intermediate stage between dinosaurs and birds. What makes this so strange is the level of preservation. The fossil preserved soft tissues, keratin, and even pigmentation traces. It provided direct physical proof of feathered dinosaurs, not just impressions in rock. Before this, feathers that old were only inferred. Now they could be seen, layer by layer. In 2008, fossil hunters in Australia uncovered an almost complete skeleton of a Diprotodon optatum, an extinct giant wombat-like marsupial. But this wasn't just a big wombat, it was the size of a rhinoceros, weighing nearly three tons. The fossil was dated to just 50,000 years ago, meaning these massive creatures lived at the same time as early humans in Australia. Their survival until relatively recently shocked scientists who thought such megafauna had vanished much earlier. This discovery forced a rewrite of the timeline for human megafauna interaction on the continent. For a long time, the narrative was simple. Dinosaurs ruled the earth and mammals were tiny mouse-like creatures scurrying underfoot. But a fossil found in China turned that idea on its head. Paleontologists discovered a nearly complete skeleton of a Repinomammus giganticus, a mammal the size of a badger. Inside its stomach cavity, the remains of a young dinosaur. This fossil proved that some mammals were not only large, but were preying on dinosaurs during the Cretaceous. That shattered a long-held assumption about mammal-dinosaur interactions and forced a re-evaluation of their ecological roles. One of the most significant fossil finds in modern anthropology happened in Georgia, where scientists uncovered five ancient human skulls and multiple skeletons dated to 1.8 million years ago. What makes this strange is how modern looking some of the features were. These fossils represented Homo erectus, but they displayed a mix of traits from multiple hominin species. This suggested that early humans might not have evolved as neatly in stages as once thought. Instead, different species may have been part of a single, diverse lineage that spread much earlier than expected. These fossils completely reshaped our timeline of human migration out of Africa. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. Do we have a part four in store? Let me know what you think. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski. Did I say that? Uh, I'll see you again next time. Bye.